to the Original Brew Collective Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ben. And I'm Robert. And on these episodes, on this podcast, we drink different beers from different breweries. We review those beers. And while, we, while we're doing that, we talk about a variety of topics. We're going to do that again today on this episode. So um, we're really excited about this beer that we're drinking today. It's uh, from Burial Beer Co. We uh, reviewed a beer from them last week, and we're reviewing another one from them this week. So, Robert, tell us a little bit more about the beer. Yes. So once again, it's another Imperial Stout coming from Burial Beer Co., which is located in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Um, This one is Anno Domini MMXIX. And so to describe that name, Anno, or define that name, Anno Domini stands for AD. So when you're referencing years in AD, and it means in the year of the Lord is what that stands for. And so that's, that's interesting. I didn't mm-hmm. know that. I, I didn't always, either. I always thought that AD for a year was like after death and in, rela- in, in relation to like after the death of Christ kind of mm-hmm. thing. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting. Now I actually know. Yeah. Ano Domini, which means in the year of the Lord. Yeah, because we saw the name and we were like, what does this mean? Yeah. And, we and then uh, the Roman numeral MMXIX is 2019. So it's basically the title 2019 AD. Yep. Yeah. It's really cool. It's a 14% Imperial Stout. We're very excited about this one. Uh, last week, I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned, we did an Imperial Stout um, already also from Burial, a different one. This one, um, we're pretty pumped. This one also has a lot of adjunct added. This is coconut, lemon, vanilla, and coffee. So pretty pumped. Sounds like a very interesting combination with the lemon. The lemon lemon is interesting. Yeah, we love coconut in our beers. We love vanilla, coffee, Coffee. obviously. We love it all. Um, Lemon for a stout is going to be new for us. Yeah, I've never... Yeah, so we're pumped about this one. So I'm going to crack this open. Well, I do. Ben, will you please enlighten us with a beer fun fact? And then also for those who aren't watching on YouTube with us right now, if you didn't know we're on YouTube, we are on YouTube. So go ahead and watch these if you want. Um, but please describe the label, Ben. Yeah, the label is actually really, really, I really like the label. It's, um, it's darker and it's like gray and black and there's, uh, is it a funeral processional is what it looks like. Yeah. And so there's a bunch of skeletons that are carrying a keg of beer. It, I think, yeah, it's supposed to be like a coffin, like they're carrying the coffin, yeah. but it's, it's, uh, it's a barrel of beer. Yeah. Think, barrel right? of beer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A barrel, barrel of beer. And it's really um, cool. there's just, it is really cool. I really like it. And yeah. it's one of the, the skeletons in the front is playing a trumpet and there's black umbrellas and I, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice label. I like it a lot. What's the beer fun fact we have then? What do you have for us? So the beer fun fact is that in Egypt, when they were, this is kind of funny, but when they were building the Great Pyramids of Giza, mm-hmm. um, apparently the builders and also I think slaves that were building those pyramids is from what I what I read and what I know, they were paid in beer. Nice. So they they have, have we done that beer fact before? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, you know, I I brought up one time in Amsterdam, uh, Amsterdam, the city of Amsterdam. They actually keep their streets clean because when I went there, I'm oh, like, they, this is as clean as like Disneyland. If you've mm-hmm. ever been to Disneyland, there's never trash on the ground. It's weird. It's like super clean, especially for how many people are there. And so in Amsterdam, they they pay um, the homeless people. They pay them yeah. for beer and tobacco. Yeah, and with that small, is a little also similar. some small wages. But yeah, to mm-hmm. keep the streets clean. But the pyramids, the great pyramids of Giza, the workers who built it were that's crazy. Paid in beer. That's cool. Not good for them. I'm sure <laughs> the beer back then was way different too. Probably way different. Um, cool. So we have this one. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. For that fun fact. Yeah. Um, I'm having fun already. <laughs> we poured this one out um, into our glasses, into our tekus, uh, to be exact, and uh, comparing it actually to last week's episode, last week's burial imperial uh, burial beer co's imperial south that we tried. Um, it poured out very similar, mm-hmm. so it wasn't super heavy, which is kind of what we've experienced with most of the Imperial Stouts that we've tried and reviewed. Um, it seems to pour out a little light, so I expect the same mouthfeel. I expect very similar level of carbonation. So if you didn't listen to last week's episode, totally fine. Go listen to it anyways, though. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was a little bit on the lighter side for an Imperial Stout from our experience um, on the mouthfeel. And then the carbonation level was also slightly lighter for an Imperial Stout or for a Stout in general. And we don't expect it to be super carbonated, but in relation to what we are used to from a carbonation standpoint, it was still a little bit lighter, I mm-hmm. think, in our opinion. Yeah, definitely. But nonetheless, last week's episode, um, that beer from Burial Beer Co. was super good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the flavor profile was really good, actually. 
So just taking a look at this one. I feel like this one, maybe it's because it was the pour on this one, but I feel like the, the you know, there's a little more head. Mm -hmm. um, it's still like swirling around the glass, moving it around the glass. Seems a little thin to me for what we're using. The, the color seems, well, I guess, I guess comparing it, it's pretty dark. Yeah. It looks darker than the one that we had Yeah. last week. It's pretty black. Mm -hmm. The last week's was maybe, it was pretty dark as well, but it was m maybe more comparable to like a cola. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, this one's pretty black. I really like it. Let's see what we get on the nose. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm getting some mild mm -hmm. notes of coconut, but it's still definitely there. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Is there vanilla in this? Yeah, I'm smelling coconut and vanilla. No lemon, not a whole lot of coffee on the nose either. Just a lot of coconut and vanilla. I actually can get coffee on it. Yeah? Yeah. But definitely mostly, mostly coconut. It smells so good. It does. I wonder like where the lemon, it's yeah. so interesting. I'm really curious mm -hmm. to see if we like pick up on the lemon or not on the palate. You want to try it? Yeah, let's do it. This is very good. Yeah. It's, um, I would say compared to last week, it's still on the medium side mouthfeel to me, mm -hmm. but I would say it's slightly heavier than last week's mm -hmm. here. Um, still really good. It coats the mouth a little bit more. Yeah. I think. So I would say maybe this one is medium heavy. Yeah. Um, no, this is for sure medium heavy. I'm just going to say it. Uh, but gosh, the flavor profile the flavor's is so really, good. really good. Yeah. It's very rich. Yeah, this is, yeah, yes, this is, that's a good way to describe it. It's a very rich flavor profile. I'm not getting the lemon so much. I don't get lemon. I think maybe when it opens up, we'll get like a slight lemon, mm -hmm. but right now it's just like coffee and vanilla mm -hmm. with a mild coconut still mm -hmm. for me. And I'm hoping the coconut pops a little bit more, but that's just because mm -hmm. I'm a huge coconut fan. Yeah. It's so like full and the flavor is just, yeah. This is like a nice dessert beer. For sure. You know... I almost feel like I'm kind of conflicted. I almost feel like I'm getting the lemon in just like for a split second. Like at the very beginning, if it makes sense. No, I was going to say like three quarters of the way through the sip, okay. through the tasting. I feel like almost, I'm like, is that lemon? But I mean, either way, this is just really good. I, I do hope that maybe a little bit more lemon comes out just because I'd be curious. I feel like that lemon, lemon that you might be getting, it is kind of like lemon peel. Mm, almost. Okay. Yeah. I get Mm -hmm. I get that. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. Not a lot, but I this is a, see what you're saying. Right now, I think this is a very solid, very well done um, mixture of the vanilla, the coffee, and the coconut right now. Like I said, I love coconut, but I'm also really appreciating that it's kind of subtle. It's almost like having a coffee beverage that has the vanilla with the coconut splashed in. Like this is, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's very well balanced right now for me, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, so Christmas was last week. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, uh, most of you probably do. If not, um, hope everyone's having, I don't know if Hanukkah is officially over. I don't know when Kwanzaa know. is, but happy holidays. Um, yeah. Hope everyone's had a great holiday season. We are just about to have New Year's. We're approaching New Year's in a couple of days. Um, we're really excited about that. We have yeah. some, some plans that we're pump, pretty pumped about. We're going to have a little mini vacay mm -hmm. with our wives, and Ben's child will be joining us, mm -hmm. tagging along. Yep. Can't leave her. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we thought it'd be fun to, since New Year, this is the week of New Year's, we're going to be uh, entering 2020. We thought it'd be good to look back at our Instagram. And just all the beers, because that's the, that's the documentation of all the beers that we've tried, or mm -hmm. most of the beers we've tried. Mm -hmm. um, beers that we've reviewed, not even just that, but beers that we've had and we posted photos of that we didn't actually officially review, but we just got cool photos of. Um, hopefully you think they're cool photos. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing for this episode is we're pulling out our Instagram. Um, if you follow us, then awesome. If you don't, not cool. Go follow us. Um, and actually, you can How'd do you it. you even find out about this? Yeah, you honestly. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Um, how did you find this this podcast? Um, but anyways, if you follow us or not, feel free to go on Instagram right now so you can scroll through with us because that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up our Instagram account, which is at Original Brew Collective. 
and then we're gonna scroll through our photos. And so feel free to scroll along. We're actually gonna kind of just look back and reminisce on the photos, on the beers that we tried, um, give our honest feedback on some of the beers, um, behind the scenes info on some of the shots. We like to think, we put a lot of effort into these shots. And mm -hmm. so we like to think that we have decent shots, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, feel free to open up your phone right now. Crack open a beer actually more importantly, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, pull open your phone, get, go to at original brew collective on Instagram and follow along please. Um, and we'll kind of go over the photos. Um, so we're going to just kind of be looking down a little bit, looking at this, but looking, we have a lot, if you scroll through, we have a lot of, uh, just because where we're located, we have a lot of beers from the same breweries and we do do trade and so we get others, but you'll notice like a common trend. Moonraker, Bear Bottle, um, Alvarado Street, and which all three are incredible. All mm -hmm. three are super good breweries. Um, kind of one that, one shot that I really like that we actually fairly recently did was a Bear Bottle shot. And it was, uh, what beer is this? Unicorn, Unicorn Dust. Dust. And so if you're looking on Instagram, you'll see that it's a IPA. Um, and it has, for our, our shot, we did just sprinkle blueberries and mandarins mandarin slices all over i i personally just really like this shot yeah that's a really nice color we uh try to be creative we try not to just do a standard shot of a beer um for the most part we like to have stuff added into the shot actually um one good way to describe it is i think gosh it flavor profile i think is what it's called um you know that that term that i'm trying to recall right now i think it might have been the flavor profile visual Visual flavor. Visual Thank flavor. you, Ben. Yeah. yeah. So we like to call it visual flavor, and we did not coin that term. Who actually coined that term, and it's actually funny that I'm talking about that term in this photo, is because that term came from um, a friend of ours. His name is Pine, and he actually works at Bear Bottle, right? And so actually Bear Bottle, Pine, will send us Bear Bottle beers, and so we're always pretty stoked when we get some beer, beer mail from Bear Bottle, because mm -hmm. they will send us beers, and they just ask us to take photos and um, spread the word about how good their beers are. Just mind you, I will note this right now. They are not in like paying us to, <laughs> to, help. to like promote them right now. Uh, they do send us beer, um, which is awesome. We love it. But uh, much like the workers of the Great Pyramid of Giza, <laughs> yeah, we're paid in beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is no cash or anything involved in this. They just send us beer, and they want us to. Oh, actually, it's when like we pictures we take, yeah, they just like the pictures we take, and so that's why they send us beers. And they actually told us we don't want you to lie. We want you if you want to give honest feedback about our beers, Pine literally, we sat down with him and he said, if you want to give honest feedback, do it. We're not encouraging you to like make up false information or, you know, we're not going to tell you what to say, say whatever the hell you want to say. Mm -hmm. We just want you to try our beers. And we were already like drinking beer bottle to begin with, but yeah. it's just cool. Now they send us beer and we have the opportunity to get it and then try some that might not even be distributed to our area. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and take cool photos that we think are cool at least. Yeah. Um, and then we'll uh, send those to Pine. So yeah, um, visual flavor. It's a pretty cool uh, term that I believe uh, Pine from Bear Bottle actually coined. Mm -hmm. And if you actually go follow him on Instagram, go follow Bear Bottle. Um, and that's how he describes uh, his photos. There's a lot of fruit, a lot of stuff going on in his photos that he thinks tries to uh, describe and convey the flavor of that beer through those images. And they're pretty good at it. So I just, I was scrolling through and I, we talked about, I love this picture. So I'm looking at a picture. Um, Tell me which one it is. Yeah, it's called Citra Vesa by Alvarado Street. I thought we were gonna get so many likes on this picture because I just think <laughs> the coloring and everything, I just think it's beautiful. And yeah, it's by Alvarado Street and it's like looking over the ocean. ocean. I feel like it's just perfect for the can art and everything too. And it's a lager. We have proper glassware and yeah. Robert and I are, um, he's holding the, um, the glass and then I'm pouring it. And I just think that's a beautiful picture. Yeah. It makes me just think of summer. It's a definitely a summer beer. Um, mm -hmm. Alvarado street is definitely one of our go-tos. They're damn, man, they brew some incredible beers. If you haven't had them, also try just... them and also, or trade for them if you can't get them. But yeah, that photo, uh, the, on the can actually, it's a, an outline of California on mm -hmm. it. And then inside California is like a beach scene. Yeah. Um, and so that's why we kind of wanted to go with the ocean and the, as the background. So literally the whole background is just yeah. like ocean and sand. It that, just, it reminds me of that trip too. We took a trip in September. Was that September? Yeah, the Sea Ranch, which is the Northern coast. Yeah, yeah. And it was so like, we knew that we wanted to take beer pictures and like film some episodes, but dude, it was so fun. Yeah. It was, really, that was nice. a really fun trip. Dude, you should talk about this one. 
Oh man. Okay, yeah. So we have um, Full Circle Brewing. There is a beer that we took a photo of um, called Zest on the Beach. And so if you're scrolling through Instagram right now, you'll see it because um, it's the can. We have like an orange to the left of it and to the right is the glass of the beer poured out. The can is laid down. So it's an aerial shot shooting down. We actually have progressively become big fans of doing the aerial shots. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot you can do with them, um, which makes them really fun in our opinion. Uh, but yeah, so the the first shot, and you can scroll through because there's three shots on this post. Uh, the first one, you can see like the foamy ocean wave coming up and washing up very close to it. But what if you slide right, you'll see what progressively happened throughout that the shot. The waves came higher. The wave came thought. much higher than we expected, and so it started. It hit the orange, hit the can, hit the glass, and you will see. That's your. Those that's are my your hands. Hand. Yeah. yeah, that's my ring. Yeah, you'll see my hands swooping in and grabbing the glass before it falls over because I was. I had to save had, the beer, dude. I had to save the beer. I was going to say, actually, like, the tech boy didn't want it to break, but it wouldn't mm -hmm. have broken my hand. I really cared about the beer. Let's be honest. Gosh, and I think this picture, we'll move on from the trip after this one, but it's so, <laughs> it's so cool. It's called, it's from Revision Brewing and, uh, and Spark, Sparks, Nevada, Sparks, I believe. Nevada. Yeah, Sparks, yeah. Nevada, Revision. They're pretty popular. Fun fact about Revision Brewing Co. Actually, um, Jeremy is the, one of the owners and founders of Revision Brewing Co. And he is the co-founder of Knee Deep Brewing in Auburn, California. Hmm. Um, and so they had a, the, him and the original co-owner had a, like kind of a disagreement on the direction and the path they wanted the brewery to go from a brewing standpoint. And so the current owner, who's also, who's the co-owner, original co-owner, bought Jeremy out. And so Jeremy went on to start Revision hmm. up in Sparks. He wow. couldn't find a location in the Sacramento, California area that he would fit from a financial standpoint that they mm -hmm. thought was worth it. And so they took it up north to Nevada. Probably a smart move. Yeah, probably was a smart move. And they're they're known for their IPAs. Yeah. Um, I, right. just, I like this picture. It's called uh, Jewel Box Ooh. by Revision. And my wife took this picture actually. And it's like a, a time-lapse photo of the night sky. And we were just out there. I was still in Sea Ranch. Gosh, it was crazy how yeah. many stars were out. And Northern Coast. I, really, I just really liked the creativity behind the time lapse of it. Because that didn't, that was kind of not an easy shot to get. No, it took a while. Those take a while. Yeah, but. so the can, just to give you a brief example, the can is called Jewel Box and it has like, it's like a galaxy shot. Mm -hmm. So it's like the stars and, and stuff it, like that on the can art. And so with the time lapse, and most of you are probably familiar with this, what this is, but it's like, I don't know all the terminology. It's a long exposure. Long so exposure. Can... So it's like the camera's constantly taking a photo. And so like it catches like the shifting of the moon and the stars and stuff as they slowly move throughout the sky. And so that's kind of what that shot was. This can stayed in place while the sky was moving. And so when you're looking at that shot, that's how we did it. The whole series of shots from that trip just make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep scrolling. Ooh, man. So this is one, a good one to bring up, I think, just because... We use a lot of props. So right now we're looking at Shake Your Stack, which was a collaboration between Great Notion and McKellar. Mm -hmm. And so that one, we took it outdoors with some really good coffee cake, a cup of uh, French press coffee, the beer poured out into a glass, and then we had to actually stack uh, chopped logs of wood behind it as the backdrop. <laughs> and that was a really good beer. Mm -hmm. um, it was a fun shot to get, and it was actually paired very well with that coffee cake. I didn't even think about stacking the wood and shake your stack. Wow. I didn't think about that either. It really fits. But it was nice to be able to, after we took that shot, to have a uh, sip on that beer while we ate it with the coffee cake. Yeah. Actually, we have to talk about this one, Ben. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this one, we actually won this photo contest, which was really, really exciting that we won. But it was from the Rare Barrel in Berkeley. Check them out. Oh my gosh. They create incredible barrel-aged sours and just sours Some in of the, general. They specialize in, in just sours. Oh my gosh. They make, they're known, I mean, that's, they're known it's for their sours. They're so oh, they good. It's a really cool brewery too, like cool space. Um, yep. But they had a photo contest and I was actually in Berkeley um, right before... Or we knew it was happening. We knew it was happening. I, I picked up a bottle. Um, the bottle itself was, what's it called? Um, Just for Funk, I Just believe. Just for Funk. It's called Just for Funk. It has a mermaid on it listening to a, a cassette, cassette player. Yeah, a cassette player. And so it was a photo contest, so we wanted to be creative. And if you're looking at this, none of this was um, 
Photoshop. We had people who like asked us, like, how did you do it? Was it Photoshop? Yeah. And so this is how we did it. Absolutely so not we, Photoshop. We We're ordered. Proud of that. We ordered specific glassware online that had, was like mermaid tails, and um, we. So we, we obviously, if you're looking at it, you can see. But we poured the beer in there, and we're holding the bottle and the glasses on a sheet of glass. Sheet of glass from a diploma. Right? Yeah, it was like, yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. I was wondering where I was trying to it was think, from where did we get it? My, my wife has her degree, uh, yeah, her certificate framed. Yeah. So she we took the glass from that. Yeah. We poured the beer into the mermaid glass, tail glasses, and we set it all onto this thin pane of glass. Yeah. So Robert and Raina, his wife, they're holding it on each side. We had to get in when, the when pool. did we take this then? Um what month is it? September? It was August, August, August. it so was cold. Yeah, it wasn't the, warm. It wasn't like super warm out anymore. And the pool water was the pool very was cold. cold. So I was, I was in the pool too. We don't all get in the pool. But much. I was, I was holding my daughter Yeah. and they were holding it. And then my wife was taking the picture and we would count to three and then I would do just like a huge splash behind it. And then she would get the shot. And then we finally, we got a bunch, but we the one that we posted photos. was like the most even of splash. Mm. And we ended up winning. Yeah, no so. Photoshop. We were holding the pane of glass um, submerged in the water. It's Ben was cool slapping picture. as hard as he could on the water. Mm -hmm. uh, Ben's wife, Jessica, was literally laying down, I think, yeah. on the side of the pool shooting we really, it. We really wanted to win. Everyone was getting soaked, and it was cold. Yeah. It was the most work we've ever done for a photo. It was miserable. The beer was delicious. The beer was delicious, so worth and it? we won. Worth it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That was fun. Let's keep scrolling. Man, we've had, I mean, just looking right now, scrolling through real quick, we've had some really, really good beers mm -hmm. here. Um, I feel like this one took a while. Yeah, that's another beer. Oh, bottle. and then the one right after it, too. Okay. Uh, okay, let's, let, we, we clicked on that. It's another beer bottle. This one took us a while to get, and we got really lucky with the lighting. The, the only location. reason it took a while is because we wanted to find a perfect spot. So it's it's one with... Uh, it's a bear bottle. It's another called, bear bottle. It's called Wonder Dust. Yeah, and you'll you'll be if you're scrolling through right now, you'll be able to easily find it because literally it's a it's a Teku that's branded bear bottle. So we got it from Bear Bottle, and there's a cape flapping on it. And we got a lot of questions from people on how did you? Yeah, I think that we actually for this one got asked as well. Was that Photoshop? No, none of our photos. So no, our how photos, did we get that? our photos are almost never Photoshop. Yeah. I think in the beginning, like. A year ago, we would do some Photoshop because we'd do a green screen um, for certain images because we, like, I don't know. Oh, I want to talk about some of those. Okay, well, we'll get to it. Maybe we'll get to fun. it. But so, Robert, if you are if you look at the picture, um, maybe I'll just, like, put the pictures up in the video, too, just, just to have. Sure. But um, if you're, the Robert is literally, like, flapping that little cape to the side. So he was, it's like. Going, if you're watching on YouTube. So it looked like it was it windy. Like this, so it was looking like it was windy yeah. and blowing. And then that's overlooking the reason it took a while is because we beautiful. were trying to find a perfect Scene. spot to make it look like it was i don't know like where you take off yeah. the fly maybe i don't know if you're looking at it we wanted to there to be a scene like where it's like overlooking uh, like a we're like we're higher up and we're mm -hmm. overlooking like a huge area and so we happened we stumbled across the perfect spot it worked out very well because there was like a burlap foundation on the side of the road yeah it was really nice and so like it made it great because it wasn't like boring concrete or anything mm -hmm. like that so we set it on this nice like burlapy type material mm -hmm. i was able to flap the little cape and stuff. yeah yeah so it was a lot of work for that one but it came out really well and we got asked how did you do the cape and stuff and that's how i did it i simply yeah. was just there working we just attached off. it to it and then yeah. <laughs> Robert was just flapping the little cape um the one right after i just liked that i really liked the way it turned out it's called um, alvarado is right by alvarado yeah Street, the beer wave jammer and we had it in a blue bucket, and we filled it up with water. And Robert and I just had our hands in the water, and we were moving it, so it looked like it it's was great waves. Ripples, but yeah. it like ma makes movement, and it's just yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, and that's Alvarado Street. Go follow Alvarado Street. So incredible good. beers. Gosh, they they make really good beers, and they're actually they're new. I, I hear a lot of people say like that they feel like a lot of New Englands taste pretty similar. They're really good oh, about man. dry hopping their beers and doing it at an incredible like level mm -hmm. of dry hopping like they're really good so their beers are distinct they're new england's really good beers um ben did you have a beer in mind because you just yeah I, I, there's a ahead. lot no go ahead go um i feel like i don't want to get caught up okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna this might be the last bear bottle i call out i don't want to give them too much attention although i love bear bottle go follow them again but there's a shot we took here and i love this shot 
Um, this one is Pina Chocolata. So you'll see in the shot if you're scrolling through our feed, it's a bottle of beer, um, beer poured out with a pineapple and two halves of coconut and chocolate spilling out. So the reason I wanted to actually specifically bring this one up is because we partially planned this, but like the coolest part of the photo was a complete accident. Mm -hmm. We uh, poured the chocolate syrup into the coconut half and I intended just to have the coconut, when you're looking at the photo, it's the coconut half on the left with the chocolate sp uh, spilling out. I intended just to have the chocolate visible. So it was like a co half, half a coconut filled up with chocolate. But while we were pouring it, we had the camera set up fortunately and everything. But the chocolate, it, we filled it up too much, so it weighed too much and it tipped the coconut. So the co chocolate just dumped mm -hmm. and spilled out. And so luckily, uh, I believe Ben's wife, Jessica, was behind the camera at the time when it was happening. And so she just started shooting real fast. And so we captured that. And I think it came out way better than what we yeah. actually were intending. That picture took so long to set up, too. Yeah, it took a while. I don't know why. And it was, it was a lot crazy. of cleanup after that chocolate. Yeah. spilled everywhere. Because what you're seeing in this shot was right when it spilled. And then it obviously continued to spread across that wood board that we yeah. had. Um, it was a really good beer. Though. Yeah, yeah. And actually now that I mentioned like the wood board that it was on like that's just like we try also from time to time to make it so it's not on just like a natural surface like we'll bring out things to lot, set our beers on yeah so it's on an ideal surface so for this one it would not have been as cool like it's outside but it would not have been as cool if it was just on the ground mm -hmm. and so we brought out stuff to put it on like a giant wood board man there's a lot we got a lot of likes on uh, this one. We haven't talked about the brewing company oh. either. Oh, wow. We, we got a lot of likes, likes on this one. Um, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. This wasn't my favorite shot. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I am very uh, opinionated, and our shots have to be, I'm very particular about our shots. Ben will attest. <laughs> Definitely. Um, <laughs> this wasn't, like, out of all the ones, I wouldn't have thought that this receive, would receive as many likes as it did. Um, I do like it. Um, but this one is Chaco Taco by New Glory. And so New Glory is probably, it's one of our, for sure, go-to breweries in our area. We love New Glory. Um, nothing but incredible beers coming out from there. But this one, uh, we literally, it's a shot with the can. The beer poured out in a branded piece of glassware. Um, one of my favorite pieces of glassware that I own, actually. And then four Chaco Tacos, like mm -hmm. authentic Chaco Tacos. Mm -hmm. um, in, in taco holders. In taco holders, yeah, yeah. taco stands. And, and all of this is displayed on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were like excited. It we does look nice. It does look nice looking at it now, honestly. Okay, I get it. Yeah. I get why y'all liked it. Um, we tried a few different shots. So we did this as the initial one. And then we're like, well, what if we take bite to the tacos? <laughs> yeah. But when you bite a Choco Taco, it's not pretty. Like that thing starts no. falling apart. It looks sloppy. It doesn't yeah. look good. So we got, took bites, took shots of that, but we ended up just getting rid of those and just going with the original shot. Just clean, crisp, some Choco Tacos with Choco Taco beer on a silver platter outside. Yeah. We, I think that it's safe to say we're probably pretty impartial to outside shots. Yeah, definitely. We like aerial shots and outside shots. Mm hmm Gotta love that natural lighting, dude. Let's keep scrolling. There's a lot of good ones, man. I mean, okay, <laughs> I, I just think so. I, there's one specifically. Let me find it. Oh, this one was cool. Oh, that one. That one was fun. So we um, there's a picture that we posted in it's April. Not even branded like we didn't. It's even, not branded. We didn't even call out the brewery. I don't think for this one actually. No, um, but it's uh, we wanted it because we're gonna be. I don't know, coming out with some new stuff. And we have this picture, and it's both Robert and I have beer filled up in a teku, and we thought it'd be cool. To, we really like shots with movement, too. Mm -hmm. And so it's us, like, cheersing with our tekus, and the beer's, like, coming out. It's like, yeah. So we cheers pretty hard mm -hmm. with our tekus. That was a fun trip, And so behind us is the ocean. We're actually in Santa Cruz, California, with the tekus, and we, like, strategically did it so that, and timed it so that right when we cheers, the beer goes, we do it hard enough so the beer goes flying into the air out of the glass. Um, and we got the shot. And it was fun. Like, it's, like, kind of a, you see, the beer does its own thing. And so for that one, it was really just, we just did it and tried to see what we can get with it. Mm -hmm. um, we had some intention behind that shot. And uh, I think I like the way it came out. This one was cool. This was, so there's one called uh, Sap from Treehouse. S-S-S-A-P-P-P. -P. S -S -A -P -P -P. P -P -P. And that was, I just really like it because it was my first Treehouse and I love Treehouse. Another, oh crap, another fun one. Um, this one, oh gosh, the struggle. Some of these photos were a pain to take, to be honest with you. 
um, but we're always happy with the results for the most part <laughs> once we're done. This one, and you'll have to forgive me, I lost my spot, was Alvarado Street, right? I think it was called, I'm trying to scroll to it right now. You're talking about. Planes, trains, and IPAs. Oh, that one. That one is such a cool picture. So, Gosh. I'm going to say, I was a little disappointed in our engagement on this one. I know. So, so I'm that's blaming. A, that is good engagement. Oh, that is, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one took a little while to get. So we literally had to go out to our local airport, the Sacramento airport. So it's not even... You didn't like, have to. It's not super local, but <laughs> we didn't have to, you're right. But we wanted to. Yeah. And so we went and we parked in a spot where we knew planes would come and land or depart. And so I think the spot that's actually... Really good, that's a really good picture. Yeah, the spot actually we were at was where they're landing. And so we would see them coming from the distance in the sky and... It took us forever of preparation. Um, I would hold out the can, and then we'd kind of do like an aerial shot of the beer can, and then the, we'd try to make it with a plane coming in. And so this one took... It was perfect. This, we were out there for probably close to an hour trying to get that shot, I think, just because we had to time it right to get the plane so it was in the shot, because those things obviously are moving super fast. Um, it happened to be a Southwest plane. Shout out to Southwest. Sponsor us. <laughs> Southwest. Um, okay, so this, let's just talk about a couple more. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about one that I do not like. Okay. So for, fair. for not beer wise, but the picture, I hate this picture. In fact, this beer was very Yeah, good. it was really good. It's very good. But it's beer. a beer called Smoochberry by Moxa. And we were. And, and just to clarify, very good beer. Man, we got so many likes on it. Incredible brewing company. People really like this photo. Ben, in particular, doesn't like the photo. Not no. the beer, not the brewery. No. We love both. Um, but anyways, we were using a green screen for a little bit for our podcast and then for certain photos and, oh man, I just think it looks horrible. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> what Ben doesn't like is the green screen. I don't like the green screen. I don't like the red at the bottom it wasn't, of the glass. It wasn't a clean cut, no. but the glass is covered in kiss marks. That's not photoshopped or anything. That's true. I put lipstick on and kissed it. He did not. His I wife. did. Your wife did that. Yes, she did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I took that picture by myself, dude. I'm just putting lipstick on. Let's see here. Night. Let's talk about one more. Yeah. I think that is one it... is our most liked one, but we don't have to Which talk one? about that one. This one? Okay, people. The reason everyone liked this the most is it, a little it silly. It was Pliny the Elder. It's because of the beard. Come on. But it's our most liked photo. Nothing against... It's a nice picture. Nothing against Pliny. Like, I, Pliny's a super good beer. And I know, like, I still, like, talk to people who are like, oh, can you get it for us? And, like, yeah, we can get it. It's not... For where we're located, it's actually pretty simple to get. But it's really good hype, yeah. I don't want to, like... It talk, is. I don't want to talk down Pliny. But I've had... It's not my favorite. some West Coast that I prefer a little bit over it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And then, you know what? Just for fun, let's talk about our first podcast picture. Because, you know what... This has been pretty fun to do. Yeah. And I thought that this one was really cool, actually. So our first review that we right ever did here. was Surprise by Alvarado Street. One Giant Leap, and it was a triple IPA. And that was when we were just starting out. I think they only on brew that once a year. And it is but, super good. One of the better triple IPAs I've ever had. But we, we took it. It was inside, and we just held, like, this galaxy-themed bandana, I think, yeah, behind it, it. And took a picture, and... It was our first podcast. Now Actually, here we are. Solid amount of likes on that one too. I know. We did it. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for all the likes, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of these photos are a lot of work, and honestly, maybe some people would argue too much work. <laughs> but we enjoy doing we it. We want to make fun. it as good as it can be. And yeah, we try to be creative with our photos. We don't want to just do a shot like from our iPhones or something like that of like just the beer in our hands or in, sometimes you know, we anywhere. travel to get these pictures. Yeah, we have. We've traveled, um, or like we'll plan it out. Like we know we're going on a trip. We'll like collect certain beers that we think will be themed and properly. collect props for the beers, whether it's like because a lot of different IPAs. I'm sure, if you're listening to this, you know have different fruit flavors and different stouts have different like. I mean, with chocolate and coconut and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. So we try to like set that up with it, and so you know what you're getting when you get the beer, mm -hmm. what you're gonna taste. Yeah, yeah. So we've had an incredible year. Just filming um, podcasts, reviewing different beers, trying different beers, posting photos on Instagram. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening, watching, um, and liking all our photos. Because if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be doing this, mm -hmm. probably, honestly. Yeah. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe we would, just because we enjoy doing it so much. Mm -hmm. But we do really appreciate it. It would make it much more difficult if we didn't have everyone who listens, watches, and likes, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, so thank you. 
Thank you, and uh, we hope everyone had a great 2019, and we're wishing everyone a great 2020, a great new year. Um, once again, right now we are currently sipping on an incredible, yeah, incredible very, very good imperial stout coming from Burial Beer Co. Um, 14% ABV. Um, it's imperial stout with coconut, lemon, vanilla, and coffee. Ben, as before we close this one out, tell us, as this beer has opened up, are you getting any more notes of anything different? Are you getting more lemon? Because initially we weren't getting much lemon. I I think for me, I'm getting, it's pretty similar to what it was in the beginning. And really, just really great flavor. Yeah. But nothing too new for me. Are you getting anything new? I would say, if anything, the lemon is very mild. And I would say, I think I agree with your initial assessment that it's a little up front. Like yeah. In the initial sip. You get very mild lemon, but then there's like the coconuts present, the coffee and the vanilla. I would say it's a little more coffee heavy with uh, mild notes of coconut and vanilla. And then that, like I said, that very subtle lemon right up front. This is such a good beer. Though. It's really good. Very well done. The coffee flavor actually on this one is on point. Yeah, for Actually, sure. we've had a lot of beers where we feel like, uh, a lot of stouts where we feel like they're good and they have coffee within them or coffee was used in the brewing process but the coffee falls off a little bit mm -hmm. i like i i mean in my opinion i think the coffee can fall off pretty easily especially yeah. like if you hold on to it for a while but this one the coffee notes are are incredible yeah i think it's like it tastes like quality coffee mm -hmm. this is a really good beer it is so thank you so much for technically it's been over a year mm -hmm. right for us but thank you so much for 2019 and hanging out with us, listening. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed some beers while listening with us. Um, hopefully you just enjoyed listening in general and our Instagram, our content, hanging out with us. Yeah. We have definitely enjoyed making content, whether it be photos, reviews, anything. Honestly, yeah, we have a blast. Sure. So we uh, hope that you continue to hang out with us in 2020. Um, if you have any beers that you think we need to try, any breweries you think we need to try, let us know and we would be happy to get back to you and happy to try to get our hands on that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Um, thank you again, we really do appreciate it. If you don't follow us yet, go follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Um, it is at Original Brew Collective on Instagram and Facebook, and then Twitter is at Brew Original. And then actually Ben and I have our own individual Instagram accounts. And so I'm at Robert underscore OBC, and Ben is at Benjamin underscore OBC. Yep. So give us a follow if you would be so kind, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you again for hanging out with us. Every episode, we close out with the cheers. Mm -hmm. This is our last cheers of 2019. Oh my gosh. It's a big one. Do you know who we're cheersing to? I do. Okay. Ben, this is a big deal. It is. Who are you cheersing to for the last episode of 2019 going into 2020? Yeah. You know what? Cheers to all of you. Obviously, we cheers to you for listening and yes. following and um, liking these videos. So cheers to you. Thanks for, for listening. Yep. You know what? I'm going to cheers this to Dick Clark. You know, Dick Clark. Thank you, Dick. Although you aren't with us any longer. Thank you for all the memories, all the countdowns that we watched, and for your legacy continuing on. So yeah. cheers to you. Cheers, Dick. Cheers. <laughs>